Hey, yo, what is going on guys? Calahandro here and welcome back to another episode of Magayon. In this episode, we're going to be doing Magayon Central Park. Well, so Magayon Central Park takes inspiration from the National Mall in Washington, as you can see. It's like there's a pool of reflection here that I've built in the last episode. And also the capital of Magayon, which is the series that you're watching, is that building right there. So if you want to see that video where I build that building, um, click the link in the description or the one on top, on the top right or something on the screen. So yeah, let's get started with the video. Well, the video has already started. I am the one who has to start com making commentary. But anyways, so this is, yeah, this is, I'm continuing. If you haven't seen the last episode, I think you should really s watch it first so that you understand what we're doing here. But now we're just doing a lot of lane connections. And I told you guys in the last episode that we're going to be focusing heavily on the roads. And almost half of the entire episode is just a lot of custom lane markings because, you know, I love me some lane markings if you wanna if you wanna see a lot of these lane marking type of videos comment down below uh, if you wanna watch um, make me make interchanges you know um, hit me up any suggestions down below because I'm plan I'm also planning on making a vanilla city skylines type of build you know just random builds out of you know because why not so that I won't be too because Magayan takes a lot of time to do to produce but building it's you know easy so you just saw me there build you know um, an energy an intersection it's not actually an intersection it's just um, you know the the right turning lane so that you know for that people can enter and exit but they cannot go through the road if you know what I mean I don't think that makes sense but anyway, so this is one of the hardest interchanges that I've built because it's it's connecting uh, an avenue to a roundabout. I don't think it's a roundabout, but it's a one-way road that goes all around the Capitol building. So I think it's a roundabout, something a roundabout-ish. But yeah, this one, there's there's I think there should be a traffic light here, but I can't seem to make it work. But basically, traffic going around a roundabout is non-stop and traffic going through the avenue is also non-stop except the one that inter intersects with the interchange. So yeah, that point right there, that's they have it has a traffic light there. And you know, a lot of lane markings. I had actually three or four trials for this interchange and this park the central park was a little bit hard to do because the scale of the city is quite small but it's not it's not up it's not the right scale to which i'm the plans that i'm following which is from real life it's like a sixth of what is in real life so everything looks a little bit wonky but you know the next few episodes we're going to be building um, more of building so that you get a sense of scale in the city and i think i did quite well but anyways um, I am doing these uh, most of the um, intersections in this avenue have no left turning lanes so people can just go straight through or turn right so that's why I'm putting a median in there like a filler median using the intersection marking tool which is a which is one of the best mods in this game I mean before I was using decals and it was taking a lot of time now it's super easy and the thing is, and the amazing thing is that they don't go under there's no like height issue so even if we place a surface over the road the intersection the markings will still be on top which is a huge win so that's what that's how you can make that's why you can make you know custom like roads and stuff but now we're doing the other side of the um roundabout and now this is like easier because it's just a one-way road going to another one-way road so yeah I haven't I haven't shown you how I built the roundabout because yeah that one I didn't show you how I didn't show how that was made because I'm going to be fixing that in later episodes when I do that portion of the city because you know Magayon this part of the city is quite you know quite messy and it it takes a lot of time to plan everything is everything has to be perfect everything has to be set everything has to have a purpose but yeah, even though, because Magayon, in Magayon in this series, we don't want any imperfections, even though that's very difficult. But anyways, now you're seeing me doing these lane connections and that's the lane connection that you saw right there. I don't know, that was so fast, but yeah, two lanes basically going to the left, uh, three lanes from the 
uh, avenue going to the left and one to the right and all right turns are green you, you don't have to like so you just have to like um, mind the pedestrians while doing a right turn so you see me like three turns there to the left and then the boulevard which is this straight line that goes through the entire waterfront yeah that's gonna have we're gonna be having a lot of custom lane markings i had a lot of a lot of i planned this i like had a lot of trials with the how the lanes will function and then i just realized that i saw the real life version i was too busy with the lane mathematics that i forgot that you know not all intersections are you know perfect so i just did what i did and i didn't do like specific li line connections i just um set where the cars can go on each lane i like connecting the lane to which lane it's supposed to go you can know but anyways this is like the other interchange i have a lot of interchanges i'm very interested in making interchanges but sadly this city is not a car centered city even though i'd want to i think i want to make another like side project where i build a lot of highways and stuff but yeah there's only one huge boulevard which is this one that goes through the entire waterfront and an elevated expressway which is a little bit farther in the future I know it has a ring road a half a ring road because this is inspired by metro manila and one of the like circumferential roads that's what they call it is like edsa and then it's like circumferential road one two three four five from the center and then the farther you go the number increases and i think edsa is c3 i guess i don't know or c1 i'm not sure but anyways getting back on the video we have a lot of tangents so bear with me we're now doing the obelisk the monument of magayon it's like it's inspired by the washington monument but the asset that i'm using is the one from buenos aires or buenos aires i don't know how to pronounce that buenos aires i think buenos aires we're like spanish the philippines is a spanish colonized country so we kind of know how to pronounce spanish stuff you know cinco or something i don't know i'm not sure oh my god did i have a lift now Getting back on the video, let's take out too distracted this time. We did we did good on the last episode. Last episode was we were coherent and we were straightforward and we must not derail from that because you know, even though it's but anyways, let's get back to the video. So uh the capital felt a little empty, so I put the statue on top of it because in the Washington one, the capital in DC, they have a statue of someone, a president, I think I'm not sure, I'm not an American. But yeah the statue of him is there and i also wanted to put the statue of something there and it's gold because the capital is like gold or something even though the roof is red the at night you will see that the capital is gloriously gold and it shines it's glistening and it's like a ray of light and yeah the capital building is gold and it's stunning and i can't wait for you to see the cinematics because it just looks amazing and if you want to see a little bit of a closer look at the capital, I suggest you watch the last video where I built it. It's in the link down below, the first link down below after the ad advertisement or the where you can follow me because if you want to see closer look, a closer look with the projects that I made, if you want to see pictures of what I've made of the of Magayon, go ahead and go to my Instagram because I upload there very often. I also and I also post there announcements on what the next episodes will look like, sneak peeks and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, let's get back on the video. I'm just doing a little a light detailing. No, not light, low, low, low level detailing, but it's high. The height of the bushes are low, that's what I mean, but the detailing is high because we don't want to distract, we don't want to obstruct the view of the obelisk. And the obelisk must have an unobstructed view all around. But we will be having a lot of shady trees on the sides because the center part should have the obelisk is the important thing and the greenery should only be you know below eye level so that it wouldn't be it wouldn't you know fight against the um visual and speaking of visual and sight magayon has a lot of various different rules regarding how things should be placed um, based on significant um, buildings, significant monuments, and one of those rules is that the capital building 
must not views of the there are specific places in the capital where there are where the view of the capitol building must not be obstructed so you'll be seeing later in the video where i show you the points where the capital should be visible if that is, doesn't make sense i'll be explaining that later on but anyways getting back on the video now we're just doing a little bit of detailing i'm using these what do you call these junipers um cypress trees by pedalmo a lot of trees by pedalmo they're amazing and i think i'm gonna make i people have been asking me to make an asset list but uh for a long time but sadly i haven't got enough time and uh some people said that it takes a lot of time so i was like okay i will be taking it when you know i'm not sure when to do it but you know if we have enough people you know asking for it maybe i'd do it because you know i sadly don't have the time to do so because of school and a lot of things to do but yeah now we're going back on the video just doing a lot of light detailing and most of what i build here is about it's just basically parks and yeah now we're adding these like what call these 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 should be like plates tablets i billboards i don't know something like they should be filled with like propaganda <laughs> no not propaganda like artwork um facing the um i'm here i'm going to show you a picture of what it's supposed to look like yep like that and there's supposed to be like monuments so but this is what was on the workshop and i think it kind of fits well just imagine that the adds their change over time and sometimes there are pictures of sceneries or something but yeah placing down these acacia trees on the side even though these um yeah these acacia trees have give a lot of shade and only take a little space at the bottom and it's quite nice it's perfect but the thing is there's some i have an uh, a little bit of a problem with the acacia one in real life these acacia trees are Anyways, so yeah, acacia trees are quite small in the game, but you know, nothing in this game is up to scale, everything is messed up. So yeah, I just placed, if you didn't know this, I placed down some road barriers for the bike lane so that the people biking won't be crashed by the car when they're biking, they would be safe because the uh, the original like layout of it it was just like a road division with like markings but we have to have a barrier like a physical height barrier so that people won't be you know masagasaan if you know anyways yeah a lot of detailing this is one of the high detail builds of the city and i have like a rating there's like super high detail high detail medium low and basically just placing down buildings and this is one of the very high details i have a lot of props placed i have a lot of trees placed i have a lot of things everywhere and the monument and specifically the boulevard is one of the highest detailed builds i will be building the waterfront but the boulevard in later episodes but yeah let's get back with the video so now you see me place the first um statue monument or attraction in the central park or national mall type of thing and this is the um this is like an international type of situation i think this is when magayon helped people or they were helped or something this is like this is originally the disaster monument or disaster help monument and this is when people bounce out the resilience monument i should probably call this. this is the resilience monument this is a symbol of the magayons helping each other raise up and the international community helping as well so yeah a little bit of symbolism a lot of symbolism has gone through this episode i stated the last episode was a better explanation of what magayon is and today is just that uh, it's just you know continuing on that like um, picking up on what we were talking about on the last episode so yeah the only thing that will remain there is the resilience monument that like two tablets in the center and the fountain the square fountains on the right so yeah now you'd see me place some buildings because i just wanted to have a feel on what the 
on what the scale would be and stuff so that I'd be placing down the buildings better and now you'd ask what what are what are you building what are, what are those pathways that you're building so these pathways are lines where they like show where the where you can place tall buildings and where the building should be very very low because I have like if, you, if you're not familiar, in the last episode, I stated that the views of the capital must not be must be unobstructed, depending on where you are. And like the one in London, St. Paul's Cathedral, here's a picture of it. You'd see that this building is kind of like distracting the view of the St. Paul Cathedral. So they decided to change the design so that it better fit the building so that you wouldn't you know fight against the building so that the building would still be prominent in the skyline so I'll also be incorporating that and also this map right here where you can see various places that should have unobstructed views of the um, St. Paul's Cathedral in London so that's a nice way of you know giving the city a little bit more variation because if you don't have because real life cities have a lot of like zoning and rules to follow on what type of building should be placed and I think that's kind of a you know it's kind of a fancy cute little fancy rule since it's from London in it it's from London in it <laughs> uh, and it has taken like a huge and of its, its own kind of like life but anyways so yeah now getting back on the video i'm gonna be changing to a british accent for no reason um i placed that building there so that i have like this perpendicular um park also on the park it's a park inside a park 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 yeah pollock park and let's all clap our hands together for that amazing joke that was sucked anyways let's get back on what's happening so you see me use these cypress or junipers trees because they they're, they're like fancy you know we want this to be grand this is like this park is like the pinnacle of parks in Magayon. it is like the fanciest one this is the highest maintained the best landscaped and the most gorgeous park in the entire region or plaza or something because i have we're going to be building more parks in the city smaller ones larger ones and we're just getting started baby this is not the end this is not the best i mean this is the best like on paper but this is not the best that i've made because you know we're just getting started you know as if so anyways this is i don't think i'm not sure if the amount of grass that i've built the amount of foliage is too much but i think you know if it's too much we're just gonna cut some off later in, in the series so that the series can go on because yeah i don't want to have i don't want to end up having a short series i want my series to be you know long last longer and you know because magayon has a lot to offer and i want to show you guys as much of magayon as i can as the computer allows because all everything that is happening is basically based on how much the computer can allow a lot of series great series sadly have ended due to you know age time time is the like an enemy time is the greatest enemy time is the worst enemy of anyone because time 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 i can't i can't think of a like of an amazing or helpful quote so i just kept repeating the word three times so that it would sound dramatic but yeah just placing down a lot more acacia trees on the side of the road because imagine you're in a tropical country and this is the philippines right so here in the philippines it's very very hot especially in the metro so placing down trees especially shady trees can help cool down the temperature make it shady make it more beautiful and just make it overall more nice it has a lot of benefits and we're living at this the philippines is in a tropical country so there's a lot of rain so that's why there's a lot of foliage here so yeah there's no reason that i can say there's no reason for this to be unrealistic because in real life this this land this type of like landscaping is very much realistic because if you go like behind our house like in the backyard or further down the line down the road or something we have a lot of foliage and if i tried to do that in city skylines i think the game would crash i think the computer wouldn't be able to handle it because there's a lot of foliage but 
anyways the video is sadly coming to an end i know it's so sad you can't hear me mumble and go on tangents anymore and you'd miss my voice boo hoo <laughs> you'd never miss this voice um yeah any suggestions on what to do in the next episodes on the further end of the episodes any like name suggestions for the places that i'm building for the buildings that i've built i gladly appreciate it and i'd also gladly appreciate if you support me in making higher quality and more frequent videos by going to my patreon that's patreon.com slash and you'll be helping me out in so many ways in like you won't even know and shout out to my um new patrons i have two new patrons simon jachin and also jason deep thank you so much for supporting kalehandra and i hope to see more of you guys become official citizens of magayon um this is kalehandra don't forget to subscribe signing off bye